Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to simplify your classes in Roblox Studio. Classes, if you don't know what they are, well you're looking at one right now. Class, it's a this module script right here. I named it Pet Class and what's going on here is it has to do with meta tables and all that. So, it's a module script so we can get it at any time. And basically, when we call the new on when we call new on the class, uh, we are sending in a damage because that is the amount of damage we want that pet to do. So because this is basically internally creating a pet, and we are setting the damage here. Now this might look really confusing because of this index and set meta table self and self dot damage. It's really confusing to really look at it so how can you simplify it to make it more straightforward and just have it like just basic really well what you can do is get rid of this index get rid of that index get rid of the set meta table magic to just be a table leave everything else here because you still need self self is important Change your colon notation to a dot, and you can no longer use self. What you actually have to send in when you call this is the pet itself. So it's pet. So much more straightforward. Right, so when we get it, we're still saying dot new. We're sending in the damage. And then we are printing the damage. So since we are making a new cat, like this is our cat, I named it cat, and it equals to the new pet. And I'm sending in 10 damage. It's going to print 10, because that's the damage we sent. And then we're upgrading it. Sorry, change this colon to a dot. Uh, sorry. Uh, dots. Okay, hold on. I feel like I did something wrong. Wait, hold on, guys. All right, sorry, guys. I was just being weird. I mean, you can't put cat because that's what we, you know, you have to put pet, the actual module script, because that's where the function is. There's new and upgrade. Uh, send an upgrade. Because we are trying to upgrade it. Then here, we have to send in the pet we want to upgrade, which would be the cat. Now, when we call this, we are sending in the pet, right? So we are making a new pet, which is cat. We are printing the damage we sent in here, which is 10. We are upgrading it, so we are calling upgrade, sending in the cat that we created here. And here it is here. It's passed along to the upgrade. And we are saying we are setting the damage equals to itself, but we are multiplying it by 1.5. So when you multiply uh, 10 by 1.5, that will result in 15. So... Yeah, that's uh, what it'll be. We're not returning anything because we're just setting it. So we upgrade it, then we are um, printing the damage. So we we'll open the output and click run. So you can see 10, because that's the base damage we sent, and then 15. Because we multiplied it by one uh, 1.5. Now again guys, you can make better pets using this, like let's say you wanted to make a dragon pet in your game and the damage was uh, 200, then you can do that, and if you wanted to up upgrade the dragon, you can do that, pets.upgrade, dragon, prints, the uh, dragon dot damage. so when you take 200 times 1.5, you guys will see, that is 300. That's how you can make better pets. It's really simple. But let's get into uh, deleting a pet. If you wanted to add another function in the class, if you want to delete a pet, you would say function pet.delete, or you can say destroy or whatever, but obviously it needs the pet. What we have to do to actually delete it um, here is you would have to say pet is equal to nil. But you would also have to set the damage 
equal to nil like pet dot damage equal to nil whatever you set up here you also have to set back to nil down here this won't work i don't know if you guys caught it this won't work because we are setting the pet to nil and then pet dot damage we're trying to find damage in nil um but even when pet is nil the damage is still there because i've already tested it so you have to set pet dot damage equal to nil and that will basically delete it so right so we're going to have the dragon we're going to dragon dot or pet dot delete dragon we're then going to print the dragon's damage nothing will it'll print nil because we deleted it here and if i go to the tutorial game and see no it it works uh as intended so what have we went over in uh today's tutorial well get rid of meta table set meta table get rid of the index change everything to the dot notation send in the pet when you are calling a function here and just set it automatically so it is more straightforward and yeah guys that was today's tutorial if this did help you guys or you did learn something from this video please hit the like button and subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next video peace